welcome back to The Brick Station. Now, this episode, I'll be reviewing the Lego Star Wars Clone Troopers versus Droid Eco Set. Now, this is set 75000. Here's the back of your box. Recommended ages are 6 to 12. Has 124 pieces and it retails $13 and includes two minifigures and two droid two clone troopers and two droid ecos. So uh, sort of four minifigures if you consider droid ecos to be minifigures. Here's your instruction manual in this set. Now um, I got this set at Walmart. Anyway, let's do the close-up on the set right now. So, here's your Clone Troopers vs. Droidicas set review. So, we're going to start off with the main figures we get in the set. And, first of all, we have the Clone Commander. So, let me show you his head. Actually, I'll show you his helmet first. Um, so, he's got awesome moss green printing on the helmet. And, it's got a new shape uh, for 2013 that is slightly different from the Clone Wars helmet and then his face he's got most he's got a new face he's got on his torso better printing and four dots to indicate rank and he's got a blaster and moss green arms and regular clone trooper legs and then we have the regular clone trooper he has a plain white helmet and his head uh, is the same same torso without the print the markings and he has a blaster, so that's him. And then we have the droid Ecos, and I'll use one to show you how it is. And you can see that it has he has a really cool curved body design. And his blasters are really cool in my opinion. He's got a hose nozzle attached to a binocular piece attached to a clip for the blasters. And then he can walk around on his robot arms with claws spiked on the end for legs, and he's got his light and his antennas, and then, um, if we bend him the right way, we can make him, see, that's how they roll, and we can make him roll like that, and then fall down, and I'm gonna pick him back up now, and he can stand back up next to his buddy. Okay, so, here is the speeder you get, the Republic speeder in the set, and, um, you see it has a really cool aerodynamic shape, or curved shape, with those really cool curved pieces. It's got flag pieces right there, um, and you can see on either side of the ship it has them, and those pieces are really cool. And then uh, we got in here, we got the seat right there, and then a computer screen. And let me show you with a clone. Um, I'll put the clone trooper in there, and you can see how he goes. He sits in there and controls the ship and flies it and all that. And then... Yeah, let me show you, see this flag piece, it looks like a flag or whatever. You push that down to his head, and then pull this bar here back, and then you push the bar forward and, oh, come on. You push the bar forward and out comes a flick missile. You get a flick missile on the set and it has a light blue tip, really cool. Um, however, it doesn't shoot well. And then put it back in. And here's how that works. You, uh, it has hinges right there, so you clip those together and it, does all the moving and stuff and hinge, hinging, and then take his gun out of his hand, steal that from him, buddy, and then put it in this thing back here, and that it's a gun holder. I don't know what why they wouldn't have their guns in their hands the whole time if they're going into battle against two droidicas, but that's not me. So that's your set review on the set. Here's what I think about the set with the droidicas that you get. You get two droidicas, two clone troopers. So it's a good deal. If you're trying to build a clone army and a droid army at the same time, then this set is the best one you can get. Just keep getting multiples of this set, and you'll have, before you know it, you'll have a big um, clone army and droid army. I like the shape of the speeder. It's got a really cool design. And it. The, what I don't like about it is that the flick missile, Lego used to have good quality flick missiles that flick that you could fire pretty far and now they're just starting to in a word stink they are horrible that you flick them they go 
few inches. They used to go like a foot or more. And they just don't have that quality anymore. But it's still a pretty cool set. Um, so, ratings. Printing, 7 out of 10. Because although it is awesome printing, they, I, in my opinion, they could have done a little bit more detail than they did. And then, playability, 8 out of 10. Because I always do 10 out of 10. And this one, I actually have uh, noticed that it's not the best to play with. It's more of a collector's, more of if you're trying to build an army or build a good big collection, that this is more of that kind of set, not much of a playing set. And then durability, 8 out of 10 because it holds together pretty well. There are just a few problems with how it holds together at times. Uh, age rating, 6 to 12. I guess that's fine, so, I mean, in my opinion, it could be 6 to 14. So probably 9 out of 10 because of that. And then pricing, $13. I don't quite agree with that price, but since you're getting all the minifigures, it's more of a deal. If you see this set and you're trying to build armies and all that, then try and get this set. So I guess pricing is 9 out of 10. I'm going to say 9 because you only get 124 pieces. That's about 9 cents per piece. So that's it. Thanks for watching this Lego Star Wars review here on the Brick Station. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.